In this video, I'm going to be discussing the calibration of an HEC HMS model and specifically talking about the initial and constant loss method. As the name would imply, the initial loss has to be satisfied prior to that being runoff. And basically what that means is that you have uh, space or empty space in the soil layer and that space is going to need to be filled prior to that being runoff from a rainfall event. Using this method, there is no means for extracting infiltrated water, which means that you cannot regain the space. That's why this method is only recommended for event-based simulation as opposed to using it for a continuous long-term simulation. Now, if you're trying to calibrate this initial loss, basically what you're trying to do is get the start of the runoff in your calculated hydrograph to be about the same as the start of the runoff in your observed hydrograph. For constant loss, you can develop a, an initial uh, estimate of the value for constant loss. And you would do that by figuring out the soil types in your basin and what percentage of those soil types exist in the basin. You have to get the saturated hydraulic conductivity for each one of those soil types, and then you can multiply the percent of the basin times the hydraulic conductivity to get this weighted value. And then you can sum those two to get an initial estimate for your constant loss. However, that is going to be just an initial estimate, so you will have to use that as a calibration parameter. Now I wanted to show how to use this within HMS. So this is the model that I took from the uh, Hydrologic Engineering Center website. So you can go to that website and pull this model down if you want to try this for yourself. So we have the, this basin, this Mahoning Creek Basin, and we go to our loss tab. All right, so we're under the basin model and we go to the loss tab. And I'm going to put in a very high loss, very high initial loss. And then I'm also going to put in a higher constant rate. And then I'm going to rerun it. And so when we put in this high initial loss, we can go in and view our results. Now the black line is the observed data. And you can see that we're not seeing any runoff at all. It's because we have such a high initial loss that all of that uh, is being taken up and we're not getting any runoff. So obviously we have too high of an initial loss for this particular event. So we'll go change that to something more realistic to see if we can start getting some runoff from this event. So I'll change it to 1.5. I'll rerun it. And I'll take a look at it. And you can see now we're starting to get runoff. However, we can obviously see that our constant loss is uh, still too large for this event. We can go in and change that. And we can rerun it. And then we can graph these results. So you can see this is now showing where we actually do have runoff occurring. It looks a little bit better than what it did before. Now that there are other parameters that we would have to, to adjust in this calibration. We still have our uh, base flow parameters, also our transform parameters. So you can actually get this looking a little bit better. But this does give you some idea of how the initial loss and constant loss impact the results. The other thing you can do is you can go and look at a summary table for these. And you can see how this is your computer results and you get 4.67 inches of runoff. And you can see how that compares to the 4.4 inches of runoff for observed flow. One other thing I did want to show in this is the red is showing losses. And so you can see that in the beginning, the it's all red because you have to satisfy your initial losses. And, but then you start getting some blue, which is showing the excess precipitation or the runoff. Now you still get some red because of the constant losses. And remember that we did have that initial estimate of constant loss, but as I said, you're going to have to use that as a calibration parameter. So 
you probably have to adjust that uh, to get your observed and computed data to be a little bit closer. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful for understanding initial and constant losses in HMS. Uh, if you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching this one.